We've done, uh, I'd say we've done, a lot of people have done calculations to try to figure out, estimate how much horsepower our engines make. And uh, people have come up with through the years, I mean, we keep increasing every, all the parts we develop, how much fuel we can put in the engine. and, uh, and uh, so it's gone from 6,000 horsepower estimate to 8,000, and now the number is thrown around a lot as 10,000 horsepower. Um, and uh, we're not sure if that's accurate enough, but hopefully through uh, through our torque sensing venture, we can uh, we can figure out uh, how close we are to that number. So how this actually works? Um, we produced uh, the torque coupler, which is the connecting piece between the clutch pack and the rear end differential uh, with our colleagues from AVL Shriek Precision Manufacturing using a ferromagnetic steel. Um, this uh, coupler then is getting magnetized so that it uh, is uh, able to use the principle of magnetos uh, striction in order to um, deliver a change in magnetic field by torsional uh, forces. These uh, changes of magnetic field are then picked up by the uh, receiving electronics, then uh, calculated into a torque signal and then transmitted to the race pack data acquisition system. Race pack data acquisition system on board uh, the U.S. Army top fuel car that uh, monitors approximately 70 channels. So on this particular first test run that we made, uh, the green line up here at the top that's going to be our engine RPM. The green line here at the bottom is going to be our drive shaft RPM, and the red line is the uh, Excel G meter. So obviously it does somewhat correlate directly with the, the torque sensor. Uh, this, this green jagged line here would be the torque sensor that we can uh, smooth some of the data out. And then uh, this is just a channel that we built to replicate horsepower. So since we don't have any time invested in horsepower uh, dynamometers for a top fuel engine. We, we weren't really sure where this horsepower range would be. Um, some, some calculations during our, our peak acceleration uh, for the G-meter, you know, somewhere around five and a half to six Gs. Uh, under a short span, we knew that there could be somewhere around 10,000 horsepower. Uh, you know, when we go do some averages across the run, um, you know, to be averaging somewhere well over 7,000 horsepower, which was very impressive to us, uh, with a peak horsepower of over 10 watts. So, uh, very impressive from our end.